Hello everyone. So I got a couple of emails with questions on um, this assignment. Um, so let me give you a little bit of guidance. So, okay. Read the story. All right. The relevant information is down here, like where the body was found and the temperature and so on. Okay. So let me grab this and put it on a Jamboard. Get this a bit bigger. Let's see if I can move this around a bit. Okay. Uh, it's a sec. There we go. Cool. So you need to use Newton's law of cooling because um, the body is cooling and it's it started warmer than the room temperature and now it's cooling to the room temperature. I think that normal body temperature is like 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, let's see. Normal body temperature. Ninety seven point eight and ninety eight point six. Let's take ninety eight point six. Okay. All right. So basically, we want to kind of get this information into Newton's law of cooling. So Newton's law of cooling says that the temperature of an object is equal to the temperature of the ambient room plus the temperature of the ambient room minus the initial temperature of the body e to the rt okay actually i just looked it up and it's the other way it's initial minus ambient okay so let's see so Holmes arrived at 4.30 a.m. So let's take this as like kind of our initial time at 4.30 a.m. Um, the room was warm and stuffy. And let's see, the temperature of the body was 88 degrees. So the temperature was 88 degrees. Right, at, uh, so that's going to be the initial temperature of the body. All right, and we learned that the room is 76 degrees, so that's the ambient temperature. So basically, you want to plug that into there. So you go, uh, and this 4:30 a.m. Let's just make it. Let's say this is time equal to zero. That's that's kind of the initial time that the investigation started. Okay, so we're gonna have. The temperature with respect to time is the ambient temperature plus initial minus the ambient e to the rt. All right, so the temperature is going to be 76 plus 88 minus 76 is 12 e to the rt. Okay, so this kind of gives us our starting equation. Right. Now we know a couple of things here. Um, they took the temperature two hours later. So that means when T was equal to 2, the temperature was 85.8 degrees. Okay, so you're going to plug this into here to figure out what R is. So if you do 85.8 degrees, it's 76 plus 12 e to the 2R. You're going to solve for R. And then you get what the decay rate or the cooling rate is. All right. Now you want to do one more step. Right? After you solve for R and you put it in here so kind of figure out what r is and go back to this equation 
Um, now you want to kind of go backwards and see when was the body at 98.6 degrees because that time will tell you how long ago he died. Okay, so if you plug in the temperature is 98.6 degrees and 76 plus 12 e to the rt. Remember, you know the r and solve for time. All right, this will give you a negative number, but that's because it happened before 4:30 a.m. So you're going to whatever negative number you get for that t you have to subtract that time from 4.30 a.m. and that will tell you when the murder happened. So this will tell you when he was killed. So you'll know the exact time when he was killed and you read through the rest of the story to figure out who could have done it. Okay, uh, it should be it should be straightforward figure out who did it with the alibis and things like that. Okay, so I hope this helped. If you need more guidance, just email me, let me know, and I can help someone. Okay, uh, don't worry about if the deadline passed, just turn it in um, sometime <laughs> soon. Oh, hopefully by, by Wednesday would be good.